in a world where YouTube channels are more common than good video games, one man and his editor must fight the YouTube algorithm with obscure jokes, guide videos, and sometimes when his schedule allows, streams to bring peace to the internet and save the day. 2023 is upon us. Let's talk about what's in store for Norza in 2023. Let's go. All right, so I wanted to make another one of these update videos for the holiday period, kind of like I did last year. We might make this a yearly thing depending on how it goes, but so looking ahead to 2023, it's going to be a great year for video games, especially RPGs. There is a massive list of RPGs that are coming out. Let's like put a like a rundown here. Wow, look at that list. It's huge. There's so many RPGs that are like coming out and things to like talk about like indie and like big AAA things. And it's going to be massive, I think, um, for us and, and the channel and some like general highlights to look forward to. Starfield is... I'm almost certain it's going to come out next year. It might get some more like delays behind the scenes, but I think that's definitely coming out next year. Massive game, tons of things to explore and do. And, you know, they're really going back to their roots in terms of role playing, which is like my main interest in Bethesda games and, and Bethesda games in general. So I'm really keen to see what they do with that and play that game for many, many, many hours. And the Elden Ring DLC, the story DLC, hopefully is coming out as well. I honestly, like it, it's coming. It, it has to exist, even if they just don't ever talk about it it's coming so whenever that happens we're definitely going to be jumping on that some other things as well you know we've got like diablo 4 and the dlcs to horizon forbidden west and cyberpunk phantom liberty which i'm very keen for as well and Baldur's gate 3 is coming in like august even though in the last like Nausea 2022 video I said it was coming in 2023 it's actually got a date now so very keen for the Baldur's Gate 3 actual launch to play that like full game because I played the act one in that so many times there's also some like indie like RPGs action RPGs to think about as well like Lies of P, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, Ashen was fantastic so I'm very keen for Flintlock as well as like Nightingale plenty of different like little knickknacky games that we'll be able to talk about throughout the year as well and for the channel itself and and for me like the big thing is that I'll have more time this year as I'm deferring uni for a year so I won't have you know to spend my week days like essentially in class and like studying assignments all that kind of stuff I'll have plenty more time to work on my freelance work as well as on the channel itself so I do want to get more videos on the channel you know we, this year we've really averaged like two videos a week we're probably going to do that as well next year we potentially might expand to three videos depending on the scheduling and how things go with that extra time i don't want to like commit to making three videos a week two is about enough right now but we might expand to three once you know, we figure out what this new freedom of free time like how i spend that the sole focus for this year really is going to be on the youtube channel and expanding my social media platforms as well so on twitter tiktok and instagram i really want to expand my growth across those so if you're not following me on twitter tiktok or on instagram there'll be links here and in the comments and all that good stuff so make sure you go click on them there'll be content coming there as well i also want to keep working on my merch like we've expanded merch to have this Norza like starfield themed shirt as well and some other elden ring themed things all done by paul despawn who is fantastic and we're probably going to do more merch next year so if you haven't checked out that new merch go and check that out and this one thing that i really want to figure out and we tried it a little bit this year and it's something i really want to figure out next year is the rpg roundup series so in about the middle of the year we tinkered with doing this like weekly rpg news series and if you did watch those videos i'd love to get your feedback in the comments down below about how you think i should change them or what i should do because i really really want that series to succeed. I want something that is like a weekly series on the channel to talk about, you know, news or whatever it may be, but just something that's like regularly occurring on the channel as you can kind of get lost in the weeds a little bit when we're just constantly talking, doing guides and this and that and stuff. And I would just like to have something that's a bit more of a touchstone weekly kind of thing that we can do. And in a similar vein, like streams will be in that, you know, weekly touchstone kind of points. And I'm planning next year to uh, kind of maybe have a, a stream schedule, especially with that extra free time. I'm hoping like one of my main goals for the year is to figure out shorts and figure out streams. And, you know, streams will have maybe a one or a two week schedule. I've been streaming a lot of The Witcher 3 lately. So if you've been checking those out, you know, I appreciate you guys for jumping in. And I'm probably going to figure out a bit more of a schedule, figure out what that weekly thing is and try and get back into the swing of things of streaming. Like streaming is a very different like mental state and like mental preparedness to just like making videos uh, because, you know, it's just like a long form content that just like goes and it's live. Whereas like a video, I can like make a mistake and Nick can like edit it out and, you know, it looks like I never 
never make mistakes ever, which I absolutely never do, never do, never do. So it's, you know, it, it's a different kind of mindset to streaming and I wanna get really back into that. And shorts is the other thing. And I wanna figure out what we're gonna do with shorts on the main channel and start doing them much more regularly. Maybe that's where RPG Roundup will end up being, but I wanna have more shorts on the channel and start doing them. And you know, something that we talked about last year was that shorts channel, which really helped me figure out what I wanna do with shorts. So looking back into last year, or this tw this year still 2022 it's been a massive year for the channel you know we exploded in february with elden ring and i have been constantly making Elden ring videos since launch like i'm interested you know nick if you want to figure out how many elden ring videos you've edited and just like put a little pop up here We've done a lot of Elden Ring videos and, you know, I was like, I'm not much of a goal setter. I was loosely hoping to hit like 20K subs this year. And we did hit that in like June, thanks to Elden Ring success. And also thanks to you guys for like enjoying the content and watching and subscribing and stuff. And, you know, I really appreciate you guys for, for joining us for this kind of journey. The the Shorts channel wasn't really a success, um, but, you know, the knowledge that I gained of how Shorts work and like figuring out the algorithm -y kind of things to do with shorts was enough for me to think about doing them on the main channel this year so we probably will that nauseous nook channel that you know you guys can go subscribe to if you're interested i'm i'm probably going to do something else with that in the future maybe I'll, I'll probably i'll figure something out there like i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do but i do want to do something on there just to you know tinker with different things but we'll figure that out in the in the very far future that's like not a not a current time thing but in general you know it's been like an amazing year for the channel and and for you know myself it's been one of the most stressful years of my life with you know uni and some other personal things going on which i won't go too much into but it's been like amazing in some regards you know like i joined the 2k next makers program thanks to beck and 2k for you know accepting me into that and helping me with understanding content and, and different things it's been actually really insightful to join the i attended my first ever events like as media or just like as a content creator i went to the bethesda and xbox e3 event which was at like 3 a.m my time which was so early because of you know australian time zones but man that was just so cool to go to major nelson was there and you know i met some friends there as well for the first time which was awesome and i went to pax as well same thing met tons of people really cool and like motivating to go to events like that and see and talk to other people who were kind of in the space and really enjoyed that but Despite all the stressfulness of, of the year, you know, I found consistently putting out videos and keeping the channel going to be really cathartic and, and satisfying. And for the most part, it's due to like you real ones that like watch every video and like videos like this, where I'm literally just rambling and have like virtually no script. I'm just like rambling away and talking about, you know, the future of the channel or whatever. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video and, you know, let me know what you would like to see in 2023 as well. You guys that watch these kind of videos are the ones that I really care about and want to know what you guys want from the channel so that's really important to me and i'm open to any discussion positive or negative or what have you so you know when you're watching this video i'm probably on break already so i'm having like two weeks off so i'll have content coming out on the channel but like i won't be in the comments and around that much but you know i appreciate you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy your holiday period whatever it is you're doing in in this kind of you know downtime that everyone has every year so thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel appreciate you guys thanks for watching my name is Norz. i hope you have a great day